Study of Evil, number 38. And we've been talking about, on this segment, religion. And we pick up 1 Kings 13.33. And we move on when, we, when we're doing the verses, because you can pause it and find where you are. But most of the time during this study, I actually read the Bible verse to you. 1 Kings 13.33, about religion. And this thing Jeroboam be turned not from his evil way. You know, Jeroboam's sin is going to be throughout all the kings of Israel. Not one king of Israel done right. And I believe the cause is the sin that Jeroboam made the children of Israel to sin. And that carries over and carries over and carries over and carries over into other reign. You know, the, it's, all, it's, it's like the sin of the Catholic Church. It's not exact, but you know the sin of the Catholic Church carries over and carries over and carries over and carries over. You know how many popes there have been, and I don't care how many, that's carried on the traditions and the lies and the heresies and no Bible. And it says, after this thing, Jeroboam returned not from Ziba way, but made again the lowest of the people priests of the high priests. Well, that's what the Catholic Church does. I was even so far to say, I heard one time from a reliable man, I would suppose would not have any reason to lie, that there was even an ad in Playboy magazine looking for priests. The true priest of God of the Old Testament and of the nation of Israel, they must be of Aaron, who is of Levi. Aaron's family of men are to be the priests. And Aaron was of the children of Levi. You didn't nick, pick, and choose who you wanted. It's not the man with the highest degree and the man with the highest money or the gold. Jeroboam says for people priests. <laughs> Whosoever would. <laughs> That's not the ways of God. He consecrated him. That's not the ways of God. And he became one of the priests of the high places. And the high places throughout the Old Testament are just places of, of, of reaching for the stars, space exploration, the dragon, the SpaceX, going to the high places. We're going to build ourselves a city. We're going to reach to the heavens, not God, to the heavens. And we're going to do it without God. Jeroboam, in his religion, had golden calves. And I wonder if they knew how to spell chicken. Aaron had a golden calf. Calves is the, is the worship of Egyptians, the Babylonians. That may have and are the trouble of the land. The religion was a copycat form of the true service of Jehovah. God had priests. Jeroboam has priests. The high place that would be established by God has just been built. By Rehoboam's dad, Solomon. And the temple built by Solomon is on a high place. It's there. And Jeroboam has a copycat of his own high places, plural. Listen, the devil has churches. The devil has ministers. The devil has congregation. The devil has sacrament. The devil has a city. The devil has people. The devil has an eternal place. The feasts. There were there are copycat feasts and ordinances and circumstances. But it was all wrong. It's called sin. And again, notice those priests were not officiated by God in the proper family of Aaron. And check out 2 Corinthians 11.4. So the evil here, religion, is inventing a religion, even a copycat. 
There are many church religions. You know, we have hymn books. We have a man get up and speak before the people. But it's a copycat. And the Baptist church said, we have an altar. Come to the prayer altar. Where do you see that? Where do you see, and I'm not Paul only-ism, you know, you accuse me of it. Where does Paul speak about in the church a prayer altar? That prayer altar was at the temple, and the temple's gone. When you got your prayer altar, you're putting your church and your people like, like Jeroboam, you're putting them under the, 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 the law. You got a copycat. Many times, uh, you know, come to the prayer altar. Listen, God and I have met right there in the seat. Many times I've been outside the church. I've been in the car. I've been uh, sitting today, sitting inside the tub, praying to God and reaching out to God. But, you know, religion, you got to have a place. You got to have a person. That's three bones. That's Jeroboam's religion, and it's evil. We got our holidays. We got a church holiday. We got Easter and Christmas. Well, God has the Feast of Tabernacles, Passover, Pentecost. Your feasts are an imitation feast of the real feast. There are Jehovah's feasts, and then there are pagan feasts. Welcome to Jeroboam's religion. And it's an evil. First Kings 14, 9. But has done evil above all that were before thee. That's not a good statement. <laughs> What's that statement? You're most wicker than anybody else. Let's try to see if we can finish this one today. Thou has done evil above all that were before thee. For thou hast gone and made thee other gods. Whoa. Babylonian, Egyptian, Roman, Greek. Had God, gods of thunder, gods of the sun, gods of the water, gods of tortoises, gods of... You name it. I think it's funny. I grew up as a Roman Catholic. St. Christopher. Now, they had to fire St. Christopher because Chris, St. Christopher was a patron saint of automobiles, and they kept finding St. Christopher in the junkyard where cars were smashed up. He ho ha ha. Here is God's plural. And listen, and the nation said, one nation under God. Which God? Have you checked the yellow pages of, of a major city in America to find there's Pentecostal God, there's a Catholic God, there's a Baptist God, there's a Presbyterian God, there's a Mormon God, there's a Jehovah Witness God, there's a Yin Yang God, there's a Yoga God, there's a God for this, there is no God, there's a non-denominational God. And molten images. Well, the Catholic Church calls that aids to worship. That's where you take metal and you make an image. Where can you find that? Uh, the other day we were at the mall and I passed by a jewelry store to get me a soda. And, and you see molten images, crosses. That cross is an image. God said, you shall not make any images or likenesses. And provoke me to anger. It promotes God to anger. Worshipping gods. Men and women. And fallen beings. And has cast me behind thy back. God get behind me. I'm... Sports. Media. Television. Radio. And movies. And other gods. Aids to worship in a form of statue. And pictures. And painting. Anger God. I have been in churches of all denominations where there's a picture of a man. There, there, there's a statue. There's an icon. There's a stained glass window. There's a, there's a, there's a, uh, you know, to the dedicated person that begun this work. That's all. That angers God. 
I was in the church. We like to dedicate with a plaque to this man that began this church. I thought Jesus Christ began the church. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. When your God is wood, metal, stone, plastic, paper, or skin and flesh, or any such material, it is evil and it angers God. No matter how pleasant your adjective you may apply. Whatever noun, verb, or adjective you put to your gods, it angers God. The aids of worship, gods of ore, O-R-E, and natural and man-made resources. That's evil. America's full of them. You can go see four faces of presidents up on side of a mountain. And people take pictures and, and, and buy the, the relics and stuff like that. That's other gods. That's hates that God hates that. Second Kings three two. He wrought evil in the sight of the Lord, right in God's presence. Behold, the eyes of the Lord are in every place, behold the evil and the good. But not like his father, and like his mother, for he put away the image of Baal that his father had made. Baal's a sun god with a sun disk. In the slightest reformation, it still serves against God and his ways. It is evil. The Lutherans are just a cleaned up Catholic church. Not without the truth of the word of God. Even in reform, there still can be evil present. Listen, the Lutheran church doesn't have as many sacraments as the Catholic church. Still, sacraments are sin. Sacraments can't save you. I mean, the, the sanctity and the ordination of marriage of God is true. But not a sacrament. You can, you can do what you want to clean up your life. And without Jesus Christ, you can clean your life all you want. That rich man, I mean, he was pure to the word of God and to the law of God, except for coveting. And he walked away lost. Second Chronicles 7.22 And it shall be answered. Because they forsook the Lord God of their fathers, which brought them forth out of the land of Egypt, and laid hold on other gods, again, plural, and worshipped them, and served them. Therefore, he, God, brought all this evil upon them. Why is he evil? Because they served gods and worshipped gods. You know why COVID-19 is rampant and, and America is going into chaos because we got gods and we're worshiping the gods and we're not worshiping god listen i'm a street preacher in daytona beach florida you say what's daytona beach florida you ever hear daytona 500 you may not be a sports car fan, but you ever hear daytona 500 well supposedly we got a thing here we're the world's greatest beach I never knew, really even thought about Daytona. I always thought Daytona 500. I'd never thought of beach until I moved here. If I ever thought of beach, I thought of Virginia Beach. Okay? But if you know NASCAR racing and the Daytona 500, Daytona 500 is right over there. Five red lights will get you there. I know how I said red lights. I can hear the cars. And in this epidemic of COVID-19, and I have been six years preaching here at the farmer's market. And since March of 2010, when this COVID started, have they gotten on their knees and repented to Jesus Christ at the preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ? No, two or three times they tried to get me off the sidewalk and call the police on me. And where a police officer told me with my lawyer on the phone, I'm going to arrest him if he keeps on doing it. Now, however, right or wrong, there's a church in California 
and they're battling California lawmakers and all that, and they have been threatened not to have church or there'll be fines and imprisonment. Another part of the country, there were people who went out and, and sang hymns outside and they were arrested. And there are places where church service and church gathering together is illegal. But you can have the gods and the Democrats and you can have the gods and Republicans. And you can allow to the Muslims God. And you can allow the Jehovah Witnesses God. And you can allow the Mormon God. You can allow the Catholic God. And you can allow the any God you want. There's a great God that's south of us in California and a couple places worldwide. You know, the, the rat land. Come and see our mice. Listen, we had mice in our house and we put traps up and we killed them. We didn't go pay them. Got to get the tickets to go see our gods and worship our gods and get the t-shirts of the gods and the CD of the gods and get pictures of the gods and maybe get an autograph of the gods. The judgment of God upon religion and the worship of other gods. If the worship is not of the God and the word, it is purely religion. What is religion compared to Jesus Christ? Religion is dead and in the ground. Jesus Christ is the empty tomb. In Jesus Christ, there's the blessed hope and religion is death and hell. Religion is never God approved. It is evil. What is not a religion? When it goes by the word of God and not man. Listen, even your preacher, your pastor can be wrong. Check them out in the scriptures. Check me out in the scriptures. Don't take my word for it. Listen, in simplicity, I could have made a great error. I could have said something totally, absolutely wrong. I probably do it all the time. I, sorry to be, and I confess the blood of Jesus, Christ, I misquote scripture. Listen, I'm on the streets. I may have said something totally wrong to what I wanted to say and what was right to say. And out of my mouth came wrong. And we'll, we'll, we'll do our five like we usually do. But the evil is religion. Jeremiah 10, 5. We'll just skip this one. I know a church has skipped this whole chapter because on their piano was a Christmas tree. I know men and women of Christianity and they attack Jeremiah 10. That's not the Christmas tree. I didn't say nothing. Why are you defense? Why are you on the attack? Jeremiah 10, 5, they are upraised of palm tree, but they speak not. They must need to be born. You have to carry them back and forth. You got to bring that tree in the house and you got to carry that tree out to the garbage. Because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them. I don't care about them. For they cannot do evil unless you put lights on them and the tree dries out and starts a fire. But the tree didn't do the lights caused the fire. See, the Bible's right. You're wrong. Neither also is it in them to do any good. It's a dead tree. Why do you got to defend it? You say, well, but I'm just showing you the truth. You're the one out there defending your sin. Idols and images, the works of men's hands, made of wood, stew, stone, Metal and plastic and paper and what have you. Or an artificial tree. The Romans and the Greeks believed their gods were good and evil. 
And yet the Bible says they cannot be either or neither. They're either right or they're wrong. And the Bible says about the gods and the imagers and the idolatries, they're a sin. Idolatry can neither hurt nor help anyone. They cannot do nothing but anger God and make him jealous. The evil is the idols and the images. Well, you know, and I've had people come up to me on the street. Are you a Christian? And they show me their, their, their cross they're wearing. They show me a tattoo of a cross. Cursed is he that dies on, on a tree or hangs on a tree. That cross is a curse. Not to be a medallion. There are people that show me, a, you know, they, they got the crucifix and, and, a, and a, a man is on that cross. Yeah, that's Jesus. Well, it's kind of funny because your Jesus is gold or silver or plastic or wood. And you're saying he's on the cross. My Bible said he's seated at the right hand of the Father right now. Why are you putting him back on the cross? He's not on the cross. And I just think this for sure, that God in heaven is so pleased in Jesus Christ that you got to put him back on that cross and hang him between your boobs. I really think God's just pleased to be hanging out between your boobs. I really think that God is so pleased that you, you, you got to paint his picture on your, on your arm. When the Bible says you shall not print any marks upon you for the dead. For the dead. And you put the sacrifice of Jesus dying on the cross on your arm. I'm serious. People have come up to me. Are you a Christian? They show me their, they show me their medallion of, you know, of, of the cross and Jesus on the cross. And they show me their tattoo of, you know, that's not salvation. That's an anger of God. As far as me, it don't bother me, but it angers God. You say, sorry, well, what happens if I give you a cross? Like it? it ends up in the garbage. So don't give me one. I'll be nice and I'll take it. And when I get home, when I clean off my bureau sometime, I'll throw it in the garbage. And the gods of the world and the gods of the crucifix ain't going to send lightning at me and chase me down. God's going to say, oh, he threw that in the garbage finally. I've been waiting for him to do it. Well done. I mean, it's the people that love their sins that defend their Christmas tree. I mean, their sins. I just show you what the Bible says. You're the one, well, you know, not really. Okay, fine. Fine. Aids to worship. Evil. 